This was previously there in the uh, old syllabus may enter advanced accounting chapter. Right now also advanced accounting. But then it was in group 2 paper 5. So it is in group 1 paper 1. Good. Weightage ella beda. We will just focus on the chapter. So some news that is there in the market about this is. It was in 2021 when one of the largest buybacks was announced by Infosys. Just see the quantum of buyback. Infosys approves 9,200 crores buyback at rupees 1,750 per year. So, who announced this buyback? What was the price that they offered? What is the total amount? 9,200. Now, let's understand a little bit from this. Now, whenever they say 1,750, what do they mean by 1,750? Who is buying back? Company is buying back. Let's say I and you are shareholders of Infosys. I and you are shareholders of, we have an option to give the share back to Infosys. If we give share the, sorry, if we give the share back to Infosys, how much money will Infosys give us? 1,750 for each share, for each. Good. And this was announced for what about? 9,200 crore. Take 9,200 in your calculator, everyone. Nine thousand two hundred divided by thousand seven fifty. Five point five point two five crore shares were bought back by Infosys. How many shares? Five point two five crore shares. Halwa. So let us see what exactly is uh, like some other buyback news in the market. Which company went for buyback? Did they buy back? How many buyback? How many shares did they buy back? Buy back in Nusa. Current buyback offers. Which companies are offering buyback? Shall we see that? One market is a definition like that. So, some fresh top, Udwarki, Bajaj Auto is offering buyback. Who's offering buyback? Now, let's read a little bit about Bajaj Auto. Buyback. So shall we take uh, yeah so there is some news yeah. which one do you want financial express economic times you tell me whichever huh i to economic oh, one two three start bajaj autos rupees four thousand crore shares buyback it's retail acceptance ratio other details some details have been given Rupees 4000 crores worth of shares are bought back by them. When are they doing it? It will open tomorrow. Meaning what? Bajaj Auto cannot tell you have to give the share back to me. You have to take money from me. Can they force? It is not a condition. It is an option. It is an So as a shareholder, let's say you have share of Bajaj Auto. You have an option to give the share back to the company and then collect money. Now when would you do? When would you do this? Let's go to the share now. So read further. What are they told? Which is a two-wheeler and three-wheeler maker will buy back 40 lakh shares. How many shares? 4,000 crores of 40 lakh. Do this. 4,000 divided by 40 lakh is 0.4 crores. 40 lakh is how many crores? 0.4 crores. Am I right? So, you are taking 4,000 crores divided by 0.4. Per share, how much price? 10,000. Sir, can I check 40 lakh shares into 10,000? Madi, 40 lakh in your calculator into 10,000. Calculator will tell E. So many zeros are not there. Is it there? 40 lakh into 10. 40 lakh into 10,000. Vanta. Calculator, so many digits are there. No one is getting that small pocket calculator with 6 digits. No. If you have it, throw it. You should carry minimum 10 digits. 12 digits is too much. 10 digits is okay. 10 digits, no calculator. You should give. 12 is, yeah, oh, okay, super. 12 digits. How many of you have 10 digits? There are people with 10 digits. It's like little cute. Fine. So, each share, how much price are they offering? 10,000. When is this happening? 4 days ago, recently. 5th of, 4 days ago. 15 days ago. 5th of March. Now, let's say you have the share of uh, Bajaj Auto. 10,000 rupees If you give one share back to them. If you give one share back to them, how much money will they give? 
will you give or will you not give depends on what you tell me what do you, what do you check for market price estide now you think i will open the market price of bajaj auto i'm sure you tell me will the market price of bajaj auto on not today on 5th of march today it can be more or less we don't care about today two three days ago so much of correction and all happened in the market how many of you lost how much money last week one week ago psu exposure itta yeah how many of you cried i got two three calls people called hey blood bath today a full red okay by the time breakfast break came 30000 rupees damar you have too much of exposure in uh, yes but very next day by the time breakfast break, break 40000 rupees up it recovered the very next day if you remember so let's check on 5th of march 2024 what is the market price of bajaj auto share before i check please think and tell me do you think the bajaj auto share on 5th of march 2024 Will it be more than ten thousand, or will it be less than ten thousand? Very good. See, logically, it should be less than ten. When a company is offering shareholders, like okay, let's say I am the director of the company, I am announcing our company is going for buyback. We're going to pay ten thousand rupees for each share bought back. When will you come and give? In the market, the share price is less than ten thousand. If the market the price is more than ten thousand, you will sell in the market. Why will you go? Why will you accept offer? Why will you accept offer? However, shall we uh, concrete this by seeing the price? Uh? Bajaj Auto share price. So, what date should we see? One month, no doubt. Fifth March, no. Second March, fourth March, fifth. March. Is it visible for everyone? Fifth of March. Fifth of March. What is the price? Eight thousand three hundred and fifty-one point seven five. So eight thousand three hundred fifty-one point seven five is the price in the market. But company is offering how much? Why does the company do this? Company believes that the price of the share in the market is much lesser than its actual value. Whenever the share price drops below the limit, what the company think its true value is. Company will tell if I sell the assets right now, I'll be able to pay much more than what is there in the market. So I will offer buyback. Whoever doesn't want, no, don't do this uh, harkat of bringing the price down in the market by selling. You come to me. I'll give you more than that. I'll give you. Now imagine eight thousand three hundred and fifty one point seven five is the price in the market. Let's say all of us have shares in the Bajaj Auto. All of us together constitute hundred percent. All the shareholders of Bajaj Auto are here only in the class. What money will you get if you sell in the market? Eight thousand three fifty one. Company offered what price? Super no. All of us will give and then take our money back. Is that possible? No, no. There is a limit. See it. It is one point four one percent of the total outstanding share. How much percentage? One point four one percent means they are offering no for four thousand crore and forty lakh shares to discuss no. 40 lakh shares is only 1.41 take 40 lakhs in calculator 40 lakhs constitutes 1.41 percentage of the total shares to 40 lakhs divided by 1.41 did you divide by 1.41 yes multiplied by 100 percent alwa what did you get 28 28 crore 36 lakh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 28 crore 36 lakh. That is their market capitalization. Not on this date. See today's date it is 2.36 trillion INR, but it is 28 crore. Whatever you just computed, no, that would have been their market capitalization. Okay. Previous close day range. Market cap would come down to the same thing what we just computed now. What what I'm trying to tell? If you check there, market cap that would be the amount. That much is the number of shares that they have. Number of shares that they have is how much? Whatever you found. In that how much percentage of the shares are they buying back? One point, one point. So one point four one percentage is allowed. Can they 
buy back 2%. Yes. Can they buy back 3%? Yes. How much can they buy back? 1.41% is allowed. If you see any some other company, some other company, what is the famous company that you see here? Sidus. Sidus Life Sciences. Hikmar Buddha. Say something. Come on, let's see Zydus Life Sciences. Zydus Life Sciences buyback. So, what is the Zydus Life Sciences buyback offer? How much did they offer? It was on 23rd of February. Buyback offer amount is how much? 600 crore. What is the offer size? 0.59%. 0.59%. So, face value of the share is 1 rupee. We are offering buyback price of 1,005 rupees per equity share. Market price also will be much higher. No? You want to check the market price? Sidus. Life Sciences share price. How much is it? 986 today. But when are we talking about? We are talking about February, you know, 29th February. 941 rupees is the market price. How much is market price on 29th February? 941. What is the price that they offered? 1005. So, one thing that we understood very clearly is the buyback price offered by the company will be higher than the market price, not nominal value, higher than the market price. And the next thing that we understood is Zydus went for buyback of how much? 0.59%. Point. And our uh, um, Bajaj Auto went for how much percentage buyback? Yeah, 1.41%. How much can the companies buy back? How much? 3%, 4%, 10%. What is the maximum percentage? Who will tell this? Who will tell this? Think. SEBI, if it is listed, will only give you certain conditions. But there is a better regulator than SEBI. More basic law. Which act? NSC BSC Barozilla. Next. Company SAC. Who tells? Very good. Let's see under Company SAC what is the provision. Shall we? Hey, should I straight away tell what is the journal entry for buyback? Huh? Shall I start? Edwa, are you finding it interesting? Shall we do this? Okay, come on. Company SAC. This is the bare text of Company SAC. This is the bare text of how many pages are there? 288 pages. This is the pair text. This is the law that will be passed in the, uh, what to say, houses of the parliament, signed by the president. This is the thing. In this, if you observe section 63 of Companies Act 2013, which talks about, it talks about buyback. Shall we see? Come to section 63. Sorry, 63 is bonus shares. Buyback is uh, 50, 55, 55 CRR. Buyback is 17. 68, 69, 70. Let's see this. Let's start with 68. What does 68 tell? Actually, 70 tells you that prohibition for buyback in certain cases. Certain cases may company is not allowed to buy back its shares. There are certain conditions given. If your company falling in that category, you cannot do buyback. Otherwise, we have a very important section. Read 68. What does it say? Power of company. See the question or the section doesn't tell buyback. What does the section say? Power of the company. Company is allowed to hmm. purchase its own shares is nothing but when the, can the company do buyback? When can the company do? That's given in section 68. Shall we see what is said told in section 68? Yes or no? Money. 8, 71, 70, 67, 60, 63, 65, 66, 67, 68. This is what section 68 talks about. We will not read full section 68. Last budget full section 68. What is that? We will not read full section 68. You won't understand only why we are doing this. But do you find it interesting? Okay, read the heading. What does it say? Power of the company. Now, what is the question that we had in our mind now? Sidus did some less than 1%. Bajaj Auto did 1.41%. How much can a company buy maximum? Shall we see? Quickly come to this part here. 
here it says company can buy back read this i the buyback is 10% or less of total paid up capital and free reserves of the company so what is it company is allowed to do buyback company is allowed to do how much can they buy back ah 10% or less than 10% actually company can do buyback up to 10% or less can a company buy back 12% of its share capital can a company buy back 15% of its share capital can a company buy back 20% of its share capital answer is yes law has this bad way what does it say it says you can buy back only 10 however if you want to buy back more than 10 if you want to buy back more than 10 you should do this 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 and this then you can do buy back more than 10 that's how they say now here what this this section this part of the section say it says that you can do buy back maximum 10 percent but they are saying that in order to do buyback of this, what should you be doing? It should be authorized by articles of the company. There should be a special resolution passed provided that nothing contained in the clause shall apply to a case where buyback is less than 10%. Read this once again. Read this once again. Okay. A special resolution should be passed in general meeting. Purti beda. Provided that nothing contained in this section shall apply to the case where buyback is less than 10%. Artha hai no? Huh? Oh, yes ma. What's your name? Sindhu, Kheli ma. Please sit, please sit. Uh, what conditions? Meaning, as a company, if you want to buy back 10% of the shares or less than 10% of the shares, there is no need to pass special resolution in general meeting. There is no need to pass special resolution in if you have power in articles of association sufficient. Power in articles of association is mandatory. Whenever there is power in articles of association, you can do buyback of shares to 10%. I want to buy back 11% of the shares. What should you do? To pass special resolution in very good. When you pass special resolution in general meeting, you can buy back more than 10%. Till what percentage can you buy back? There should be 10 in the just means can I buy back 99% of my shares by passing special resolution? There is one capping. That's called 25%. Let's see if they've given anywhere here. Have they given here? See here. The buyback is 25% or less of aggregate paid up capital. See, they in no way can they exceed 25%. No matter whether you pass special resolution or what, you cannot exceed more than very good. So now we have understood. Two things we have understood. Point number one. Whenever the company offers buyback, buyback price will be more than the market price. And the second thing that we understood is buyback can be of how many percentage of shares? Uh, minimum 10%. Maximum 10%. Can we do more than 10? If we want to do more than 10, what should you do? Special resolution. By special resolution, till what percentage can we do buyback? 25. Can we buy back more than 25? Impossible. Not allowed. Not allowed. Now we use two beautiful terms here. One, articles of association. Two, resolution, general meeting. What are all of these words? See, in partnership, you have partnership deed. Similarly, in company, you have two constitutions. One is articles of association, memorandum of association. Articles of association will tell what is the powers of board of directors. How will the company function internally? Memorandum of association will tell how will the company interact with outsiders? How will it believe be, how will it behave with shareholders? What are the powers of shareholders? What is it that the company trying to do outside its company? That is memorandum. Within the company, how is it going to function? Articles of association. Do you understand this? In the articles of association, when it is drafted at the time of incorporation, it should mention giving the power to board of directors, saying that company can buy back its own shares. It should be mentioned. What if there is no power in articles of association? Board of directors can never decide to buy the shares back. Not possible. Impossible. In order for them to do, there should be clause in articles of association. You get this? Everyone. Yes. Now, there are two kinds of people in company. One set of people are called board of directors. Law class is not your no? okay, One set of people are called board of directors. Another class of people are called as shareholders. Did you understand the word board of directors? Do you also understand the word shareholders? 
they are different if all the board of directors meet it is called as board meeting if all the board of directors meet it's called as general la bandru all the shareholders came we met it is general meeting if the people who are board of business meet it's called board meeting general la attend madidre general meeting in the board meeting all of them decide the rq and then pass one resolution it is called board resolution what is it called as and in the meeting where the shareholders are there no there they pass resolution in general meeting if they pass resolution what is it called two kinds of resolution as there one is ordinary one is special one is ordinary other one is this is all not accounts this is all law because not even one law class has happened to you i can't go ahead without teaching this to you so what is ordinary resolution what is special resolution no 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 this is resolution passed in general meeting then yeah, no? not board of directors this is this has no involvement of board of directors so general la pass mado resolution in general meeting is two types ordinary and special can anyone throw some light and tell us what do you mean by ordinary resolution what do you mean by special resolution yeah vilesh hey, sorry yes hey whoever has an answer should raise your hand whoever has an answer should ha ah, sorry yes what happened is last batch of inter there was one guy by name vilesh so i still feel like you are foundation and is inter See, you look so young and charming so you don't look like inter student inter student should look little depressed and dark eyes and then tired sleepy done with life yeah. yes come on answer not in the usual course of business interesting interpretation not correct but interesting i like it you guys should give wrong answers before i teach tomorrow i'll shoot questions then you should give correct answers nice anybody else wants to try yes sir kushal ah any mr kushal ठीक आ मोर देन 50% ऑर्डिनरी मोर देन 75% स्पेशल ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ isn't 75% more than 50% what if it's exact 75 50 percent, seventy five is the justy, you know, exact seventy five. Tiga now election ali. What if exactly same number of votes are there to two candidates? Who will win? My God, no, we never thought of this. See, we see the game in a very common way. What if, what if there is a one run to win? There is a white ball bowled, and on that white ball, batsman gets stumped out, and it is the last wicket. Who wins? Bowling team or batting team? Wide ball, stump out. Scores level or the bowling team wins. See, that's it. You need to read the rules more clearly than what you see in the outer page. Alva. So he is right. What Kushal is telling is how everyone reads. What Kushal is telling is how everyone reads. How many of you used to think of this like fifty percent, seventy five percent? There are a lot of people in the class who would know the answer. Fifty percent, seventy five percent. Ordinary means fifty percent. Special means seventy five percent. Hey, kya hai tere? None of you knew. Sir, how do we know, sir? Law ina aagi la. Should I have read little general knowledge? Okay, fine. Let me tell. Good try. Thank you for trying, Kusha. This is how you should remember. If number of votes for is greater than number of votes against, it is ordinary result. Is it number of votes in favor is greater than number of votes against? It is same fifty percent logic, but you will not tell fifty percent. Tell number of votes in favor are more than number of votes against fifty one forty nine. So you don't have, you can tell the entire thing without telling number. is ordinary sir when is it special number of votes for is three times the number of votes against same 75% but you should not tell 75% number of votes for is number of votes then what will it become ha ah, are you getting this 
See, 75%, 25% standard, or, sorry, law also tells this. When you practically try to do no, then you would have to do it like 3, 4, and then more than 50%. In a realistic statutory audit, when we do, we go sit as an auditor, we see the resolution being passed, minutes of the meeting being recorded. In a realistic scenario, what we see is a practicing chartered account is whatever. You all get this? So, now I want to buy back in my company 9% of the shares. Should I call all my shareholders? What do I do? Board of directors will sit, we will pass one board resolution and I will buy back, I will announce the buyback of shares. Why buyback is less than? Let us say I want to buy back 12% of the shares. What should I do? First I should call one board meeting. Why? To call general meeting. Or nala kari bekalwa. Yavattu yelli. Samosana kachori na. Correct or not? Maasana fanta na. To think all of that. No? To give. In meeting they will be eating. No? So to decide all of this. We should call one board meeting. Decide upon the date, time, place. Draft one agenda. Give notice, of shareholder, notice to shareholders. Invite all of them to meeting. And then there what will you do? You will do one meeting. In that meeting what resolution should you pass? Special resolution. After that we can do. Let's do this. Say something. Say something. Very good. Very good. What if there is no power in articles of association? In the articles of my company, there is no power given to board of directors. Can I do buyback? Then what should I do? First, I should call one board meeting. Telling that we want to do buyback, but we don't have the power. Then what should you do? Should amend your articles of association. Sir, is it allowed to amend articles of association? Constitution of India is only amended so many times, sir. And we amend articles of association. So, what will we do? We will call for one general meeting. General Karitivi. There we will tell them that we want to give this power to ourselves. And then make them pass special resolution. Then articles of association is amended. Now we again pass one board resolution saying that you want to do buyback. And if it is more than 10, again pass one special resolution by the members. Then you can do buyback. Understood this? Everyone? Pakka. Now we have a question. Okay, we understood buyback can happen up to 10% without uh, any uh, special resolution. If you want to do more than 10%, then you can do special resolution. And all of this you understood. My question is, this Zydas or this, uh, what do you say, Bajaj, why did they go for uh, buyback? Bajaj Auto also we were seeing, no? They went to the buyback. Why? Yaa ke? Yaa kushi ke? Increase the price of the? How will the price of the share increase? See, when did they go for buyback? We discussed that date, no? March 15th. March 15th. Oh, it is academic. March 5th. See here. Ever since they announced the buyback, no? That is around this date when they announced buyback. Key events, no? 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 much time keep it to one month one month so what happened here company's share was 8436 it dipped then 7900 it went they felt like oh my god 7900 and my share of the company no way chance the price of my company's share is much more than 7900 what did they do they offered buyback price of 10,000 on what date march 5th march 5th is the date on which you can do the buyback so when they announced what happened, look at the price. Price went up to 8,879. Why did it not go to 10,000? Because not everyone can get to buy. Not everyone can get to 1.44%. Out of 100 people, only 1.44 people will get to buy. So you can tell, hey, I want, I want, I want, buy back my share. You will offer, you will file an application. If you are lucky, your share will be bought back. A lot of them don't even go for buyback offer. They just ignore. They will be like, yeah, I know. In the long run, the share will... Recover. The price will recover. They will just do this. You get this? One reason why the company does is what is one reason why the company does? Price in the market has fallen. Second reason. Company has too much cash. Company has and don't know what to do with that cash. See, company should use the money to do the business. Give the profit back to the shareholders. I have 100 crores in my balance sheet. Cash. Business illa. There is no point in manufacturing the goods. Then what do I do? If I keep that money idle, no? Then the returns to the shareholders or at least give it back to them. We'll tell you, whoever wants to take the money back, please take back. I don't know what to do with this money. I don't have any project. Take it back. Take it back. 
so i can give it back to my shareholders i do this because it will be positive impact on my eps what is eps total earnings divided by number of shares total earnings divided by how do i increase my eps increase the number of increase the profit earned by the company let's say 10000 rupees is the profit earned 1000 shareholders are there 10000 by 1000 is how much 10 rupees profit for each shareholder i want to give more profit to each shareholder what will i do 10000 profit jagri we should do 15000 profit then we will give 15 rupees eps to every shareholder or 10000 is there for 1000 shareholders in that 1000 shareholders make 100 shareholders go back give them money and then send them home so that same 10000 should be shared by 9900 shares or 9000 shareholders so increase the numerator or decrease the denominator so to increase the earnings per share company will go for buyback do you get one do you get what i'm trying to tell so another reason why the company goes for buyback is summarized by this very important case law very important case law. a lot of people would have seen this case law have you seen this case law shall i tell you what is the case law have you seen this there's this movie that had come yeah this is a very important case law on the topic of buyback and the reason why a company should go for buyback don't know this 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 hey movie play actually this is not that class open in full tab okay Open in new thing. Ah, see this this movie. You remember? So this movie is a case law and buyback. Why? What was happening? See, you see some kind of story, or what to say, fun, no comedy. Hey, there's nothing in that. It's actually buyback case law. Reason for buyback. What happened in the beginning of the movie? There is an old man and his son and his son's son. Correct or not? All three of them are uh, togetherly they're running one company. What is the name of that company? Huh? And the group of companies. <laughs> they have steel plants. They have steel plants. Am I right? So in their company, they have one daughter also. So father has 20%, son has 20%, daughter has 20%. 40% of the shares are held by somebody else. Daughter fights and some things, and then she'll happen, she'll take one bullet in her husband will take one bullet. So, daughter and her husband will come back to India. Now, father and son together have only 40% share in the company. Correct or not? 20% is with the daughter who is somewhere else. 40% of the shares are with outsiders. 40% of the shares are with? So, there comes one guy who will spot this idea. So, if you have to buy a company, you have to buy more than 50%. Am I right? Here, by buying only 40% of the shares, he can become owner of the company. Why the 20% owner so doesn't come? She doesn't vote for, she doesn't vote against. So what does he do? He'll secretly start buying the shares from outside. He'll secretly start buying the shares from outside. In the board meeting, the old man and asks like, what is happening in our company? Then he says, someone else is buying shares. And old man will say, we have 60% shares in the company. We can decide whatever we want to do. Then someone from the board meeting says, no sir, you own only 40%. The person who owns 20% hasn't come yet. Then what do they do? They'll say, okay, call the hero. Hero will come. He will go to that guy who is buying 20% shares from open market. And then he will shoot him, he will scare him and then tell him, why do you do this? Please don't do this. But you still can't stop him. You stopped one guy. But there can be one more guy who will start buying the shares from the open market. No, 40%. Am I right? So what do they do? He comes back to India to get his... Ah, uh, auntie back. Why? A eh, not for her daughter. You got the complete movie wrong. <laughs> you got the complete movie wrong. He only came because if he doesn't bring her aunt back, what climax of the movie? You know, hero, hero, and madhya gata. Illa. Hero will come, sit there. So hero doesn't come. Auntie will come and then say, my uh, son-in-law will become the CEO. Then he will say, but she's like, okay, hey, sit. I am telling, she he will be the CEO. So just to bring in that power back, she will come, correct or not. So basically what was happening there? Hostile takeover. What was happening there? In a hostile way, some outsider was trying to buy the 
shares of the company to come to power. If in case, if that auntie didn't have a daughter, what would have hero done? They would have offered buyback. They would have offered, let's say each price of the price of the each share in the market is 1000. That guy outside is buying the shares now from the market. You will offer 1200 rupees outside. If you offer 1200, let's say some 5% people also sell the, sell the share back to company. So company will, these people together will have 45% now. So that whoever guys buys no from outside, he can buy only 35%. You cannot buy more than 40 You cannot buy up to 40%. So to avoid hostile takeover, to avoid a hostile takeover is now let's say I want to buy your company. I'll come sit with you, we'll talk what is the price of your company, at what price will you sell. So we'll talk all of that. This is takeover, conversation, acquisition. Hostile takeover is your company shares, you own 20%. 80% in the market, no? Sell into good, market will acquire Martha. And I'll hold more than 20%, I'll say you step out. I'm going to become the CEO of the company. So to avoid that hostile takeover, company goes into what? Very good. So you understood this. Lot of movies are like this only. There's one more movie which came. I'll tell you. Nani. That was also similar case law. It was Nani Vijay Devar Kunda's uh, Vijay Devar Kunda and Nani. I don't know if you have been aware of this movie. In this movie, also the same thing happens. So, Ramaya company is what they say, one agricultural based company will be trying to take over that company. Why not a very famous movie? So, you would not. You don't even know that Vijay Devarkonda is there in that movie. He's there for a very small part. He'll die after that. Yeah. So, you understood this part as to why does the company go for buyback? Come on. Let's see some theoretical thing now. So, you understood this part. Say something. I have put list of companies that went for buyback, whatever the price they offered and all of it. You can go through it. Read lot of news in the market about buyback, okay? Any topic. That's how the right way is, okay? Now, buyback is opposite of issue of shares. What is buyback? In the case of issue of shares, no, follow the blue line. Company will give, sorry, shareholders will give money to company. And company will give share to the shareholder. Blue line. This is what issues. What is buyback opposite? The shareholder will give the share back to company and company will give money to the shareholder. So what is buyback? It is opposite of, very good. In the case of issue, what will happen? Company will receive money and give share. In the case of buyback, what will happen? Company will take the share back and give, everyone understood this? Fantastic. Okay. Let's see this. If you're still thinking, what to write for what is buyback? Read this. Buyback of shares means what can the company do? Can the company buy it as investments? You have to invest some money in some other company shares and all. Can the company buy its own shares as investments? Hey, you cannot buy your own shares as investment. This is only to cancel the shares. This is only to you buy the shares and you cancel them. When you buy the shares and then you cancel them, you avoid hostile takeover. You will have higher percentage. Let's say 100 shares are there in the market. You own 40 shares. 20 shares are with the daughter who's gone to India. And then uh, 40 shares are there in the market. Somebody who can buy that 40 shares, they'll make their percentage holding 40. So what do you do? You buy back 10% shares and you cancel them. So now you have 40 out of 90. Previously you had 40 out of 100, 40%. 40 out of 90 is how much? How much? 40 by 90. How much? You have 44 percent shares. Outside market, how many shares are there? 30. 30 by 90? 30 percent. So they cannot become majority. They cannot become. Are you getting what I'm trying to tell? Continue. Leading to, whenever you do buyback, what will happen to share capital of the company? Very good. But can the company's capital decrease? The capital of a company can never decrease. It should never decrease. It should never, never is the word. It should, other than by way of recon. It should never decrease other than by way of, what do you mean by reconstruction? If you remember, we did one chapter name here. Introduction we did, 14th one. What is it? Accounting for reconstruction of. 
very good so there is a process allowed called as internal reconstruction the process allowed called as only in that manner you can reduce your capital otherwise than that you can never reduce your capital how many of you have done internal reconstruction before in your graduation become oh, i didn't ask this question this is actually not much of significance to the class but just to make you people feel little participated in the class how many of you have come through ca foundation route not that it matters just to ask thank you how many of you have come from direct entry scheme wherein you have finished your graduation you come very good any other entry there is only how many of you right now pursuing articleship right now pursuing articleship oh good would you people go at 9:30 and then come back at 6 o'clock so how many how many raise your hands 1 Two, three, four, five. Ah, someone raised here also. Ah, huh? huh. you will go after only twelve. Okay, my point is, how many of you will leave the class at nine thirty and come back at six o'clock? You will attend first half in the morning, second half in the evening. Only two of you. Few people will attend full day. Okay, only two of you. I just wanted to know. Now, if someone comes late, I'll be like, hey, I'm late, don't you? You wonder, oh, office. Ah, I should be knowing, no, who goes to office and then comes. Nice. Rest of you, if you are in the morning, ah, this is something very, very important. I want to know this. How many of you are in the evening batch, but you are actually attending in the morning today? You are actually evening batch students, but you are actually attending in the morning. Only today or any more? Evening any day? Pay another date, dear. in mail morning and regular again you i don't know what you have filled in the application form and what is there in your id card that is none of my business but class i want you to attend regularly morning or regularly evening your choice i will not tell you whether to attend morning or evening but i want you to continue in one batch everyone this is a kind request or you can take it as warning either attend morning or attend evening don't do today morning tomorrow evening next class day after tomorrow morning so that you'll get long gaps you will never be able to study if you do this if you are attending in the morning your schedule is fixed morning is class time evening is study time if you are attending in the evening evening is class time morning is study time if you do one day morning next day if you come in the evening next day morning you won't study why you should study is evening no evening you won't study why today you are attending class no and that next day morning if you come no that evening you didn't study whatever happened that day and the previous day both their subject gone so whether you are sick whether there is some commitment whether there is some party that you should go family event any early priority number 1 class everything else is priority number 2 don't miss the class even if you are sick if you have fever please come to class don't miss don't miss don't miss if you miss then you will really miss okay so thank you this is what i, I just wanted to know Whom to be little considerate when they come late in the evening? Ah, continue. So shares to be bought back to be cancelled. Ah, I told you no. Company's capital cannot decrease other than by way of. So whenever you do buy back here, the capital will reduce. But as per company's act, though you cannot reduce the capital other than by way of reconstruction. So what do you do? This decrease in the capital because of buy back is only temporary decrease. It is not permanent decrease. What is it? let us say the share capital of the company is uh, 10 lakhs what is the share capital of the company 1 lakh rupees shares are bought back so to the extent of 1 lakh share capital will decrease what i do is capital becomes 9 lakh no from my reserves and surplus i will keep 1 lakh in one box i'll keep 1 lakh in my this box is called as capital redemption reserve what is it called as this money cannot be used for anything this money cannot be used for this money will be used only and only for one purpose only and only that one purpose is called bonus issue. what is that one purpose called meaning i will convert this reserves to shares i'll convert this reserves to i'll give this reserves as pre shares to existing shareholders let's say this is 10 uh, lakh shareholders this 10 lakh shareholders in that let us say that this first set of shareholders 1 lakh i am buying back shares from them my shares become 9 lakh this 1 lakh i give them money 1 lakh i give them 
and I buy back the shares. My capital became 9 lakh. I have profits now. P&L account, general reserve. From that, I'll take 1 lakh rupees and keep it in one box. I'll call this capital redemption reserve. And once this money, whenever I want, I'll take this money and you 9 lakh people are there. No. So you people, I give free share. Free. 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 You had 3 shares. Now you'll have 4 shares. You have 6 shares. Now we'll have 5 shares. So, Arthur, I'll give free shares to you people. Sorry, sorry. 6, 8, 7. It's like 6, so free, 5, 1, 3, 4, 5, 1, 3, 4, No. I'll give shares free. Totally, when I give free, no, it will come back to 10. But they are not there. You people only hold 10 lakh shares. Do you get this? So, ultimately, capital of the company cannot. Uh, very good. So, read this. Buyback cannot be for the purpose of. Amela, company. Ultimately, to buy back, you need to have cash. No, without cash, can you buy back the share? You have to have cash. Very good. Now, what is the reasons why the company will go for buyback? Increase the. I told you, know, you can increase your earnings. You can increase your EPS by the either increasing the numerator or decreasing the next one. Avoid the hostile. Take over. Someone is trying to take over your company separately. So, in order to avoid them, you will do buyback. Then, third one. So, I am the promoter. I have 20% stake in the company. Public has 80%. I want to take some decision. I want higher power. What do I do? I buy back shares. I will increase my promoter holding from 20 to 25. Done. Then, support. We saw now the price of the share is decreasing the market. VA, no way. This much low price. So, I will only offer buyback price and increase the price of the Got it? Then, letting the shareholders realize gain when there is no better opportunity for investment alternative for company. Company has money, but company don't know where to invest this money. Company doesn't have any form of business to invest in. So, then what do they do? They offer buyback and they give the money back to shareholder. Understood this? Say something. Ah, provisions are there with regard to section 60, 67. What does section 67 say? Company cannot buy back its. We discussed it here. I told you know prohibition for buyback of shares, section 67. 68 note 68 67 was there. What was section 67 saying? Restriction on purchase of ah, so company cannot buy its own shares. Company cannot buy its, but there are exceptions. There are three exceptions. How many exceptions? Number one, redemption of preferences, which was there in CA intermediate group one accounting previously. Now it is shifted to CA founding. Sir, can we skip this topic? No, you should learn this topic. Sir, when? Later, later. Got it? So, you need to know, company cannot buy its own shares, but in three circumstances, company is allowed to buy back its own shares. Number one, redemption of preferences. Number two, reduction of capital under section 66. This reduction of capital under section 66 is internal reconstruction. What we will read as a separate chapter head, then I like. I told you know this chapter 14. That is one place where the company is allowed to buy back it. Then what is the last situation where the company is allowed to buy back? So this is our chapter. This is our company is not allowed to buy back its shares. However, exception 3. Redemption of preference shares, reduction of capital, buy back. What we are going to discuss is Section 68 of Company Act. Section 68 of that is buyback of shares. Are you scared to read this? What will we do? We will not read this. Whatever is there in the bare text, I have summarized it into really short, funny way. One is a funny story to remember. Next one is summarize the entire thing in the form of text only. So we will read it in this way and then remember. Okay, now. Nah? Okay, come on. Let's write till here, shall we? First. Don't ever ask, sir, weightage as to each chapter. There is no weightage that works. Even if I tell, don't believe it. How many of you had this doubt? The moment this chapter was started, like, sir, how many marks will this chapter come? Anytime after I do question also, you should not ask, sir, will this question come in the exam? How many marks will this question come in the exam? You should not ask these doubts. Professional. Like, just imagine. It's a uh, 
medical class that's happening there is a medicine student sitting and there is a chief surgeon teaching you one kind of treatment for a specific kind of disease will you tell okay uh, how many marks will this come in exam hey what is important is will there like you should learn the curing no in the real world let's say the teacher will tell that this will come only for 5 marks in the exam the student keep skip that but the disease came to your patient can you tell your patient sorry this was only 5 marks question in exam should not done okay guys so now let's get into some details of section 68 buyback of shares shall we so this is the main part of the standard so buyback is like bb buyback short form is what okay here buyback is like a wedding buyback is like a let's understand the concept first I'll, this is like a short form to remember everything that's required in the section after that i'll teach you the provisions of the section also if you want to read i'll show you the bare text and then make you read as well so it's like a wedding it's like a wedding now whenever there is going to be a wedding no you imagine like the is you going to get married in some days would you go out and then expose yourself to hot sun and then get tanned you you're so conscious about your skin no you will take that nap in the afternoon also because you want that beauty sleep what do you call it beauty sleep what do you call it beauty sleep sleeping beauty is different beauty sleep is where if you sleep for longer your face will have kind of a glow started acquaintance will have only dark circles you guys you guys give up all of that don't expect to look beautiful because you sleep longer yeah you have to get marks in the exam so you would have to spend lot of sleepless nights studying so that beauty sleep you will do you won't go out in the hot sun because if you get exposed to sun you'll have tan oh you don't want to get get the t tan and then amale facial will not look good if you get the t tan and then do the facial right after i don't know much of details but just telling you the whole so whenever you want to go to the sun what do you do if you have to go for some wedding work huh? sunscreen correct or not what kind of sunscreen do you apply the one with higher spf correct or not higher spf more safer it is and in fact few of my friends who might know no in india you won't get more than spf 25 spf 30 won't get more than that 50 work us ikata okay so you should not get this friend of mine asked another friend who stays in dubai to send one spf 50 packet or when he is coming to get it because there the radiation is more and then you are exposed to higher uh, sunlight no so is to get i don't know maybe india you get spf 50 anyone from dubai no some people usually i i have seen students in class so there they get uh, i would say higher spf face uh, cream india it is bad india you don't require more than a 50 spf so my friend asked someone to get it from there so that they can apply so the first thing that you should remember in the wedding is what you will apply sunscreen which is having like spf which is having next thing whenever there is wedding means all the people will come no? and with regard to wedding you need to take acceptance of everyone yes or no very good so you it's not just that uh, the girl likes the guy the guy likes the girl no family should like the guy's family should like the girl girl's family should like the guy am i right the guy's father should like the girl's father <laughs> yeah they you guys are finding it funny now because you are not in the zone when you come to the zone is when you get to know yeah they should get that vibe all of that should work so if you have an elder brother elder sister is getting married you would have seen all of this happening so in this in this wedding scenario let's see let's see but now uh, in the modern times what has happened is people started caring less like close family may father mother and then the close family four five people discuss and they take the decision but if you remember some families are like little olden times entire family like grandfather grandmother auntie uncle everyone has to say yes correct or not now also some families if you are like come some kind of joint family grandfather should say yes only then the wedding will happen father except father and mother don't have a say father and mother they can't even talk in front of grand grandparents grandparents decide grandson's wedding funny but true no okay this depends of the kind of the wedding see let's say the girl and guy 
age difference is very less. Like five years, six years, up to ten years. Okay. Okay. See, for the purpose of buyback. Okay. See, close family, father and mother say yes, done. Let's say the age difference is 12 years, 13 years. Oh, then you are worried. Now, what will the society talk? Patata vada. Just a patata vada as a brother. You don't remember. What is your knowledge, guys? So bad. You don't, you've not seen that ad, patata vada. A few friends will be sitting and then one girl will come on the bike. One old man will drop. She'll get down and then come and sit. Ah. Okay, fine. Now go search Batata Vada ad. <laughs> fine. Let me tell you. Listen. If the age gap between the prospective bride and groom is less than 10 years, then if the close family members say yes, it is fine. However, if the age gap is more than 10 years, then you are scared. What will the public tell? So you have to take one public opinion. Everyone should be like, okay, yes, we want them to get married. We want to see their wedding happening. We are only very eagerly waiting. Karina and safe wedding. They should get married. Then everyone like, ah, we saw the wedding. Now we are happy. So, you get correct now. Nick, uncle and then Priyanka, auntie wedding also. We were all very eagerly waiting. We want them to get married. We want them to get married. We wanted one more wedding also. What will you do? Bye, remained by. Unfortunate. That didn't happen. Panbutta, Vicky, Madhidali. So, that's again a wedding which public acceptance was there. Public acceptance was there. But age gap was more than 10. So, when it is more than 10, people should only feel like, hey, we, like we are okay with this. They should tell. So, there is special resolution required. If the buyback is more than, if it is less than 10%, hold resolution and power in articles of association is less. However, if there is, uh, I would say, the buyback is going to be more than 10%. It should be power in articles of association and there should also be special resolution. Did you understand? This is SPF. What do you mean by SPF? Source of funds for the purpose of buyback. What is it? Source of funds for the purpose of is SPF. It is by way of security premium. It is by way of balance in P&L or it is by way of fresh issue. Yes, security premium. P, P&L account. F, fresh issue. These are the only three sources from which you can raise the money for the purpose of buyback. And uh, you understood when we need board resolution, when we need special resolution. You understood? And this is not alone. What is this? Ah, in order to buy back a share, share should not be partly paid up. Share should be fully paid up. Only and only when the share is fully paid up, you can do buy back. A share of rupees 10, 6 rupees called up and paid up, 4 rupees uncalled unpaid. Can we do buy back? First call that 4 rupees. Let them pay that 4 rupees. When the share becomes fully paid up, then you can go for, got this. Then the last one, 10%, 25% are title. Wow. Last one. It's a big decision in life. Matter of two lives, no? You need to review the decision correctly. So take one Dhoni review system and then review the decision. Only and only when it is reviewed correctly, then you can go for. Very good. Now, what is DRS? What is? Three tests have to be done. How many tests should be done? Test number one, D. It is called debt equity ratio test. What is it called? Second test, R. Resource test. Second test, third test. Yes, share outstanding test. What is the third test? First one, debt equity ratio test. What does this say? See, there is debt, meaning loan. Equity means capital. At any point of time, debt cannot be more than two times equity. If you put one rupee into the business, you can take two rupees from someone to do business. If you put one rupee, taking three rupees from someone is not fair. So you can maximum take two times the debt. Two times the, sorry, two times the equity as debt. It cannot be more than two times. Now, there is equity. That is capital. When you do buyback, equity will decrease. Equity will that decreased equity is there, no. Into two, if you do, only that much debt should be there. Debt should not be more than that. It should not be, for example, let's say equity is 100. Equity is, debt is 200. Debt is 
if you do buyback of 10 also, 100 will become 90. 90 into 2, 180. That is 200. Buyback not allowed. Buyback, let's say equity is 120. Equity is? That is 200. That is from 120, let's say we buy back 10. Equity becomes 110. 110 into 2. 220. That is how much? Within limit. Buy back allowed? Very good. Equity is 120. That is 200. Can I buy back 20? If I buy back 20, how much will equity become? 100 into 2. It is exact. No problem. Can I buy back 21? If I buy back 21, it becomes 99. 99 into 2, 198. Debt is more. Not allowed. So, debt cannot exceed two times equity. Debt cannot exceed even after buyback. So, that you should keep in mind. Let us say, debt is 300. Debt is, equity is 155. How much can I maximum buy back? Very good. As per debt equity test, how much can I buy back? See, as per the general provisions, I am allowed to buy back up to 10%. Up to 25% with special resolution. But if I buy back more than 5, my debt equity ratio will become bad. So, can I buy back? Not allowed. Because of which test? Debt equity ratio test. We will write this after break. I will tell this once now before break. I will repeat this after break and then I make you. Done. The next one is R. Resource test. What is the next one? Resource test says that funds, paisa that you use for buyback cannot exceed 25% of PUC plus free reserves plus security premium. We will take paid up capital plus free reserves plus security premium. Whatever is there into 25% if I do, whatever I get, maximum I can use so much money. I cannot use more than that. I cannot use, that is resource test. Last one is Share outstanding test. What is the last test? What are the total shares? Number of shares, not share capital in rupees. It is shares in number. Number of shares that is outstanding in the company. In that maximum 25% can be buyback. Can I buy back more than 25% of shares? Maximum buyback will be 25% of shares. So these three tests it should fulfill. It should also fulfill the other conditions, whatever is there. Then the company can go for buyback. Once we'll quickly read and then take break. Shall we? Very good. Please read this. Sources for funds for buyback. Three places. What are the three places? Understood. Then conditions for buyback. Number one. Articles of associate. Next one. Then. Okay, there are two types of resolution. Sometimes we need bold resolution. Sometimes we need special resolution. When is bold resolution required? When do we need special resolution? Understood. Now, buyback is permissible only on fulfilling three tests. T, e, R, S. Will you read D for debt ratio test? PUC is paid up capital, FR is free reserves, SP is security premium. Understood? Then, resource test. Got that? Last one, share outstanding test. Understood? Then the last one, time gap of minimum one year. Once you get married, no, one more waiting, at least one year gap you should give, no. So, time gap of minimum one year from previous buyback. You have not seen in movies, the previous day hero and heroine gets married. Next day, the hero will go to the uh, lawyer and then say, I want divorce. Then the lawyer will say, where is your marriage certificate? Say, yesterday we got married. It's about to come. Say, minimum one year you should be. Can't be for it. Never seen this kind of movies. Every South Indian movie. So, what is happening here? There should be a minimum period of one year. You can't do buyback, buyback, back to back, back to back. Company will write in his slam books. What is your hobbies? My hobbies are like buyback of shares. No, you can't. 
it should be at least one time one time in a year event you can't do more than that so this is a chart which will which will completely pull the fill the entire thing that is required for our uh, chapter however if you want to read it uh, section wise section 68 subsection 1 section 68 subsection 2 section 68 subsection 3 same thing told it section wise we'll read this also later and after this we'll start doing okay